I've come to the Palace Precinct at the Royal Botanic Garden, Sydney. It's really distinguished by some beautiful heritage trees and open green lawns, as well as of course our rose garden. But I've come to have a look at this tree that's bursting into flower at the moment with its stunning orange red flowers. It's called the Tree Waratah or a Loxalan Flamium. No prizes for guessing that Flamium refers to these beautiful orange red flowers. So it's the Tree Waratah or a Loxalan Flamium and it's in the same family as the Waratah but whereas the Waratah is a shrub sometimes gets to about three meters tall the tree waratah is a large rainforest tree that can grow up to 35 meters. It only grows on the Atherton Tablelands in far north Queensland. So it's part of that wet tropics bioregion and it's considered vulnerable in its native habitat. Now the red flowers with these long tubes that split apart to reveal the nectar inside makes them very popular with birds. So birds flying over or through the forest or indeed through our garden see these bright red orange flowers because they see clearly in that color spectrum. Now if birds do visit the flowers and move pollen from one flower to another then the tree waratah starts to form these distinctive elongated fruit capsules and eventually they become quite woody and split to reveal the seeds. Seeds are collected by volunteers here at the Royal Botanic Gardens who then propagate them and grow them for sale at our Growing Friends plant sale. The genus name Aloxalan comes from two Greek words that essentially mean strange wood. So the internal cells of the wood in this species is a little bit unusual and that flows through to when it's used in woodworking. So one of its other common names is the red silky oak. And you can see with these items I have in front of me how beautiful that timber is with a kind of pinky glow and a very unusual um, patterning on the finished timber and these objects were made by one of our volunteer guides Peter Martin who salvages timber from the gardens that's removed either for pruning of trees or because the trees have reached 